Hi everyone, this is the Dispatch for Tuesday, May 26th. Our psalm is again Psalm 99. And then we go to the book of Numbers. Yesterday we were in Leviticus, and Numbers is one of the other notoriously hard-to-read books of the Old Testament. Numbers has uh, quite a lot of uh, genealogy in it, and that's why it's called Numbers. But there are also a number of stories, uh, quite interesting ones, that are uh, uh, recounting the experience of Israel as they wander through the wilderness. And so uh, this story, we are in chapter 16. This is part of that narrative, part of the, the, the time between the Exodus, when the people of Israel were liberated from Egypt, and the time when they enter the promised land, which begins with the book of Joshua a little bit later. So here we, we see that the people are grumbling against God. This becomes a, a pattern. Things go well and they rejoice. Things go badly and they grumble against Moses, against God, and wish they could go back to Egypt. And so here they make God angry and God sends a plague upon the people. But Moses and Aaron, they fall on their faces before God at the tent of meeting and Moses gives Aaron instructions to go uh, with incense to where the plague has, has begun among the people. What's happening here is that Moses and Aaron are interceding on behalf of the people of God, literally getting between God and the people for the sake of the people. Now, this is a, a, a sort of a prefiguring of a very important priestly role. It becomes the formal role of the priest of the priesthood, I should say, to intercede on behalf of the people, to get between God and the people for the sake of the people. And of course, when Jesus comes along, we begin to see Jesus not just in the, the mold of a prophet or of a Messiah, but also in the mold of a priest. Uh, in the book of Hebrews, it says Jesus intercedes on our behalf, intercedes, or not Hebrews, but Romans. In Romans chapter 8, Jesus uh, intercedes on on our behalf. Jesus gets between God and the people for the sake of the people. So we see echoes of that. Um, we see the beginning of that in this story of Numbers. So as you read through this story, look for that, uh, that priestly role happening there. And then we go to 1 Peter. This is almost the very end of that letter. Not quite, but very close. And we have some wonderful closing exhortations to the people of God. It says, above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love, you've heard this before, love covers a multitude of sins. And then also, like good stewards of the manifold grace of God, serve one another with whatever gift each of you has received. We are stewards of the manifold grace of God. These are good reminders for us at any time. That is all for today. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.